everybody. How's it going? Hey, Sally. Sorry, I started this like a minute ago and then I had to restart it and do it this way because for some reason the horizontal direction wasn't working. I don't know what was going on with that. I'm just gonna wait like 30 seconds to see if anybody else joins in. Feel free to invite friends to join to watch. Um, today I'm gonna be sharing my story with Young Living and how I got started with doing the oils. How I got started with using the oils and how I got started with making my passion into a business. So, I'm gonna share that with everybody. So every Monday, just a second, I'm gonna turn my music down. I like starting my lives with music because they make, it makes me happy. Um, and I feel like it's weird when you start doing a Facebook Live and it's just like silence, silence going on. Okay. So, every Monday, for the next couple of Mondays, you all are in for a great treat. We, um, all the silver leaders and above, um, in the oily community team are going to be sharing their stories with how they got started with Young Living, how they got started using the oils, and how they made their passion into a business. So um, join us. I don't know the times of when everybody is going to be popping on live. Um, it's going to be random. So on Monday, just kind of keep an eye out on the Facebook pages and you'll be able to um, watch the replay if you can't catch it live. So um, yeah. So welcome everybody, welcome to the Oily Community team. My name is Brittany Parker and I am a gold leader with Young Living and my friend, my good friend Jennifer and I, um, our oils team, weird, whenever I said Jennifer, it like popped over, that's so strange, so distracting. Jennifer and I, um, our oils team is called the Lavender and Grace team um, and so for those of you who are part of that are also on our Facebook group. Um, so yeah. Okay, so how did I get started with oils? Well, it's kind of a long story. <laughs> it kind of all started back in 2009, 2010. Thanks Haley for the thumbs up. <laughs> it was 2009, um, I had like a really horrible cr health crisis. And hey Crystal. And so I started looking into alternative holistic options because I wasn't happy with what my doctor was telling me. Um, so that kind of started my whole journey of health and wellness. And um, I ended up firing my doctor because he just wanted to keep putting me on more drugs. And I really was not okay with that. I just did not feel good in my heart about that. And I also have a problem swallowing pills. So that was just, okay, <laughs> that's a lot of hearts. <laughs> Um, so I was I, I was kind of stumped and I didn't know, really know what direction to go to. So I was listening to um, the Milwaukee radio and there was this doctor who was a guest on the radio on certain days of the week or whatever and people would call in and ask questions and she was a naturopath and her name was Michelle Nichols. Um, and so I was like, oh my gosh, I need to go see this person. Um, everything that she was talking about was exactly how I had been feeling and um, she really was talking about in a way of like getting to the root cause of the problem and so I, I ended up actually seeing her colleague Dr. English first because she was the chiropractor because I hurt my foot. So I ended up in her office through seeing Dr. English and then who's also amazing if anybody needs a chiropractor who specializes in um, pregnant mamas she is awesome she's in Brookfield. Um, so I ended up seeing her first and then I made an appointment to see Michelle, Dr. Michelle Nichols, and she pretty much flipped my world upside down. Um, she's really the reason why I went on this whole journey and the illness that I got. I feel, really feel like God gives you, puts you into a place because you have some sort of journey. There's always some sort of reason and lesson to be learned. And so that's really what happened with me. Like that health crisis was really like a standstill point for me. And that was, you know, I was either going to go this direction or I was going to go that direction. And I decided to go the one way and um, 
So that's what I did. I went and saw Dr. Nichols. She was amazing. She really helped me figure out what was really going on with my body. And that sort of spiraled into this whole journey of holistic health of we pretty much changed over everything in our household and how we eat. Um, we started eating all organic food. Um, I stopped eating, um, at that time I went on a gluten-free diet and um, also I limited dairy for a long time too. And then um, we just pretty much changed everything. Like the whole thought process of how we thought about it was everything. And a lot of my friends I think thought it was kind of crazy because I was that girl who came to the potlucks with her sugar-free, gluten-free, dairy-free, um, homemade, raw, or sometimes vegan, or crazy juices, or smoothies, or whatever, and they, and green, like what, you put greens in your smoothies? You're like crazy, that's disgusting. Um, all of my friends, I think, thought I was a little loony. Um, and then that journey continued, Jennifer thought I was crazy. And then that can, journey continued into all other kinds of stuff, like I actually ended up quitting my job as a wedding photographer, and decided to go back to school for health and wellness, and then, um, in the meantime, I was like teaching fermentation classes because I got really into fermenting foods and making homemade kombucha. And then I was teaching classes on juicing and like doing all this stuff and a lot and herbs. I was really into herbs, got really into herbs. So it that that was just this whole journey. And oils just became a part of that because all the recipes I was finding online at the time, all the like DIY homemade cleaning products were using oils and essential oils. And then <clears throat> homemade body butters and all that kind of stuff was also using essential oils. So we started making all of our own homemade cleaning products because part of the whole journey that we went on, and you guys, this I just didn't like do this all in one sweep. It was literally like, you know, it took like two full years to really like change out everything. Got rid of all the toxins in our house. Um, <clears throat> I started making all homemade cleaning products like we vine vinegar and essential oils and all that stuff. So, and then I started telling all my friends to do the same thing. <laughs> so that was really how my, my journey with oils kind of began. And then I started using oils more medicinally, but the more and more research I did when I got pregnant um, in 2013 was I realized that the oils that I was buying were kind of crappy oils. They were not therapeutic grade. And at the time I was really only using them for cleaning products and homemade body butters. But you know, even then, like why would you want to buy the crappy oils when you could have like the best oils. And so I did a ton of research when I was pregnant because I discovered that you could use oils like for your pregnancy to help support a healthy pregnancy and you could use oils during labor and postpartum and you could use oils for everything under the sun. So I started doing more research into the companies and started trying all different kinds of oils and um, I ended up on Young Living. And Young Living, once I, because I was like an oil junkie and pretty much had used all different companies with my son, as soon as I used Young Living, I was like, oh my gosh, why would you buy anything else? Because these are like the most potent oils ever. Um, you literally use one drop. The peppermint oil is a perfect example. You compare peppermint oil to any other company's peppermint and nothing compares to Young Living's peppermint oil. Like right there is testimony of just how amazing Young Living's oils are. And when other people tell me that they're using other oils, I always ask them like, well, okay, that's great. Um, Cause I won't, I'm happy that people are using oils, but are they working for you? Like, are they doing what they really should be doing for you? Cause if they're not, then you should try a different company because Young Living oils, like they work. So, Anyways, I got my first, I got started with Young Living when my daughter was six weeks old and never looked back. I will not try any other oil company from now on because there's no reason to because Young Living's oils are the bomb. They are the best oils in the whole world. Um, so that's how I got started with my oils. Um, 10 months later, so this is like 10 months postpartum, had my baby, and then I decided, um, I was like really depressed. I was really depressed. And I um, I didn't really know much about the, that there could be a business with Young Living. But I was ordering my oils. I was using my oils. I loved my oils. All my friends were asking me questions about oils. 
and <clears throat> Jennifer decided that she wanted to pursue the unliving business. So I started asking her questions about it and we started talking and that was kind of how that all came about and I was like, oh, there's a business. Like, okay, that's really cool. I could start a business because here I was, a stay-at-home mom and was super depressed because, I don't know, maybe I, I you know, kind of blocked some of my friends away from me because I was kind of like in this weird period postpartum but also a lot of some of my friends had kind of fallen away and so I was like really depressed so I really wanted friends and she was doing all these cool things with all these oily like girls making friends at all these events and I was like oh I really want to like get out there and like do stuff with people and I was also super depressed because my family was financially like strapped we were living paycheck to paycheck and I we had chose that I was going to be a stay-at-home mom. That was what we were going to do and we felt really stuck because we were paying $1,000 in student debt every single month and had been for years before that and had not made a dent in our student loans. We had like, we had over 80 grand in student debt and my husband was pretty much meh, he's not really going to make much more money. Like he's pretty much at where he's at except for inflation, you know, increases, it's not going to make much more in his field unless he were to like change positions or and there wasn't really anywhere for him to grow into a higher position at his company. So we felt really stuck and I was like super depressed about it. And so I saw doing the oils as a way like I'm already super passionate about health and wellness. And so I'm going to, I don't even know what the potential is of with Young Living, but I love my oils and I want to get my oils paid for and I want to empower other people to basically do the same that I did, is to take control of their health and know that there's other options out there for them, that there's holistic options to empower other moms and other even dads or even people who are not moms that they can, you know, have healthy options for their family and that they have something that they can do you know, for them, for their family. So that was how I got started with doing the oils. So, <clears throat> moving on. So I told Jen I wanted to do the business and she was like, okay. So she came and taught my first class in November. Three of my friends signed up. Well, two of my friends signed up at my class and then my mother-in-law signed up um, later. And then um, the next month in December, we hosted our first online class. Now this was back in 2014. So December of 2014, we hosted our first online class and it was a rush. Like this was back in the days of doing old school posting style classes. And so we had our first class <clears throat> and I got a, like two more signups maybe that month, I can't remember. But every single month I got my oils paid for, my monthly Essential Rewards order of 100 PV was paid for and I was like so excited. I was like over the moon that my oils are paid for. And after our online class, um, we decided to sit down and make our goals. We were gonna make our goals. And so we went through and made our goals and um, Jen wanted to be silver by four years from then. <laughs> and I wanted to be silver in 10 months. <laughs> Crystal Hoskins, who I didn't even know who this chick was, but this chick named Crystal Hoskins, she was either a silver or a gold, and I was like, I'm going to be her, because she's super cool, and I want to be just like her, I'm going to be a silver, whatever the heck she is, I don't even really know what silver means, but I'm going to be that chick, so that was what I had my heart set on, so in March, okay, so back up, we set our goals, Jen's was to be silver in four years. Mine was to be silver in 10 months. And, um, cause I was like, I'm on the fast track. So, um, and I didn't even really know what that meant, but we committed to, well, I don't know. I don't remember what Jen committed to, but I committed to, my goal was to do two classes a month, two in-person classes a month because Crystal, these two crazy ladies named Crystal and Mary said that you needed to do classes. And so I was like, okay, I'm gonna do two classes a month and I'm gonna do one online class. And that was what I was gonna commit to um, over the you know first couple of months that changed to more classes because things got crazy and things kind of exploded in my face, which was really awesome. But um, two classes a month really only stuck for like three months. But doing two classes a month got me to executive in three months. I went from being 
a star in January to an executive in March. And then I went from being executive and maintaining all the way to silver six months later. So um, that was crazy. Crazy. I don't even really know how that happened, <laughs> to be honest. It just kind of like, poof, it just happened so fast. So anyways, so, um, <clears throat> So yeah, so setting your goals is super important, and I feel like that was really, really helpful. Um, the journey with Young Living has been amazing. I've made so many friends, so many friends. Like, I have too many friends, it's like impossible to keep up with everybody on a consistent basis, um, because there's just so many of them, which is, who can complain about having tons of friends? That's like one of the reasons why I started this, was I wanted more friends. Um, I also wanted my oils paid for and I also wanted to contribute to my family's financial situation which the first three months I got my oils paid for and then the month I hit executive my paycheck was um, I think it was like over six hundred it was over six hundred dollars it was really close to seven hundred dollars and that was the month that my husband was like okay we can finally um, buy a new car and sell our old car because our old car was needed to be, we needed to replace it. We only had one car. We've always only been a one car family. So we needed to replace it for a family friendly car that Pepper's car seat would fit in because the car seats these days are just like obnoxiously huge. <laughs> you can't fit these car seats in like a normal four door sedan. So we needed a new car. So that was huge. So we got a new car, sold our old car. That allowed, that monthly extra boost in my paycheck helped me basically cover our car payment. The next month, um, my paycheck just kept growing and so then I was able to buy a cow. It sounds really funny but like I was able to buy a quarter of a cow of organic grass fed beef for my family and that was like huge. So I was like super excited about that. I know it sounds so silly being excited about buying an organic grass fed cow but I was. Um, so that was awesome. And since then, since my business has grown um, like crazy, um, <clears throat> since it's grown, we've also trimmed down our student debt. Um, so we used to have over 80 grand in student debt and now we only have less than 35,000 left to pay off, which is huge. And I have a plan, um, by the end of this year, it's going to be gone. So, um, I'm super excited about that. So, <clears throat> so the perks of sharing your oils, you guys, um, are just awesome. Friends, tons of friends, amazing journey, journey of personal growth. Um, <clears throat> I have over 1,600 families in my organization. I don't even, I mean, we've had peop a couple people got inactive, so I have no idea what the total number would be, but that's how many people's lives have been changed. Like, oils are a gateway. I call them like the gateway because they're really a way for people to open up their eyes because once they start using oils in their life, then they start really starting questioning everything else in their life and start questioning their food that they're eating and like their environmental toxins and like all of this stuff. So it's, it's really an amazing gateway. It's an amazing to see all of these families' lives changed. If I hadn't decided to do this business, I don't know if all of these people's lives would have been changed or not because it's like this trickle effect. Like I mentor all of these people and help change their lives and then they start changing lives of others by mentoring the people in their surroundings. And it's just this amazing like domino effect. And so that's super awesome. The testimonies that I get from people on a regular basis are just unbelievable. That is like a huge reason why I keep going and keep doing this. Like the amazing testimonies of health that people have. Just like even the simple things of like, oh my gosh, I was able to get my baby to sleep tonight. Like that's huge. Like just even simple things. They don't even have to be huge, huge testimonies, but like simple things that are making the quality of people's lives even better. So that's awesome. Being able to be almost debt free is just another huge perk. Um, God doesn't want you to be struggling. He doesn't want you to be poor. Like we are not meant to be poor. So you should not feel bad for wanting to want to not be poor or to be struggling and living paycheck to paycheck. So the other thing that I wanted to share with you guys as um, a part of your the journey with Young Living is recently I met this amazing woman and she told me that my color is yellow and I was like oh okay what does that mean 
She said that my color is yellow and that I am this bright, bold energy of light and I am this, this, this yellow brightness. And I was just like, oh, wow, well, thank you. And that I pour into everyone around me. And that's so true. And the Unloving has allowed me to really like use my yellow, my passion and my gifts of being able to pour into others to, to just basically do that, like to share the, you know, the message of health and wellness and to pour into others, not just in that way too, but like really like mentoring other people and being this like bright yellow light to all the people around me because that's my gift that God's given me and so that's what I want to use to share with everybody else. So um, Young Living has allowed me to really like pursue that passion. <clears throat> so kind of what I wanted to share with you all is that um, if you don't love, if you don't love your job, if you don't love what you're doing, um, if you're not using your bright, bright color of who you are, then you need to like reconsider what you're doing because life is too short. Life's too short for you to not be sharing your passions and living your life and your color, whatever color it is that you're, you are, whatever gifts you are that you have, you have something unique and special and nobody else is going to do it just like you do it. And so I just want to encourage you, whether or not you decide to, you know, you want to pursue your living as a business or not, whatever it is that your gifts are, you need to focus on those and you need to share them with the world because you're the only one who has the gifts in that way. You have that special something that nobody else has and you need to share that with the world. You need to share your color with the world basically is what I'm trying to say. So, and life's too short for your husband or your spouse or your wife or your, you know, your grandma or your, whoever it is that you want to help out financially for them to work a job that they hate. And um, for, you know, for me, it was like, I'm get to be home with my daughter every single day while my husband goes and works a corporate job. And so, and my dream is to be able to, you know, give him the gift of the option of not having to do that. Like, if he wants to stay home with our daughter, with me, and we can do life together and not spend hours of your life, like, I don't even know what the percentage would be. If you work a 10 hour job, Monday through Friday, that's like, you know, how many hours of how many hours you, in a year of your life that you're spending away from your family. So, and I feel like family life, if that's for you, it should be at home with your family. And so that's definitely one of our goals. And that's what I want to give that gift to him. Um, so let me look at my notes, see if I missed anything. I have like a whole bunch of other stuff. Um, yeah, so really, if you don't love your job, if you love your job, that's awesome. I am excited for you. <laughs> that's great. But if you don't love your job, I encourage you to find something that you love. Figure out what your passions are and share in your talents and share that with the world. Um, let me see if I missed anything. Okay. And then I wanted to say, if you're sitting at home listening to me and you are watching this and you're thinking, wow. I could do what Brittany Parker does. I could totally tell my friends about the oils. I already love the oils. I could teach classes. Um, I can empower um, other people to basically take back their health and take control of their health. I can totally do that. Um, I have these amazing gifts that I could use and everyone's gifts are going to be different and everyone's going to pursue their young living business in their own unique way, which is what's so cool is that you don't have to do it the way everyone else does it. You could, you know, share through social media. You can, um, I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. Figure out, figure out what your gifts are and figure out how you can utilize them in sharing the oils with others and change people's lives then I encourage you to, to do the same thing. Discover what your strengths are and use them to share your passion. Um, and whatever you decide, whether it's, whether it's, you know, you wanna pursue a business, you wanna become an entrepreneur, you wanna pursue young living, you wanna, whatever you decide you wanna do with your life, um, commit to it. So commit to it. And honestly, like this whole journey of like health and wellness 
this is a journey of health, wellness, and abundance. So it's, you know, the journey of health is also part of being a healthy person. It's not just, you know, taking care of yourself in, in a healthy way by using more holistic methods and using less toxins in your house and taking care of your body and, you know, exercising more and all of these things, but it's also what you do. It's the seven, it's the ULA. It's the seven, the seven Fs. Friends, family, finance, faith, um, help me out people, <laughs> field, it's what you do. And so part of being a healthy person is what you do. And if your job is giving you stress and anxiety, um, that's not healthy. So this is all a part of that healthy journey. So whatever you decide to do, I encourage you to commit to it. And there's a really awesome quote that Emily Newall, my girl Emily, just posted today, which I thought was perfect. It says, there's a difference between interest and commitment. When you are interested in something, you do it only when it's convenient. When you're committed to something, you accept no excuses, only results. So whatever you decide to do, commit to it and I promise you, you will succeed. Commit and don't quit and you will succeed, whatever it is in life. Um, you do not need to be an expert in order to share the oils with people. Um, I'm not a doctor. And I don't claim to be a doctor. And I'm not even a salesperson. I do not call myself a salesperson at all because that's not what I am. I'm an educator and I'm a mentor and I empower people. So that is my job is to do all three of those things. When I um, approach sharing the oils with people, that's what I do. I educate, I mentor, and I empower. Um, I empower others to take control of their their life and help them just like take back their health. Um, that was like one of my biggest goals along with getting my oils paid for was I wanted, I was in charge of this, I was an admin for this holistic blog that I had started and I was seeing all of these moms on there struggling with their health and I wanted to basically give them a gift of empowerment to know that there is options for you and that you are smart, you're educated, and you do the research and decide what's best for your family as far as the health goes because nobody else is gonna care more about your health than you. Nobody's gonna care more about your own, your child's health than you. There's no doctor out there that can tell you that they care about your health or your child's health as much as you do. So, that is my message. Um, let me see if I missed anything. Um, if you want to start sharing oils with people, I just encourage you to allow organic conversations, live life with people, and allow organic conversations about the oils to just kind of happen and start sharing with your friends um, and host some classes and join our business page. So that is like everything that I wanted to share. I feel like I went through it so fast. Um, I actually wrote down notes instead of like, you know, just like doing the Britney whole, Britney Wayne it thing. <laughs> oh my gosh, perfect. That was like less than 30 minutes. Okay, so I am going to answer questions later because um, I have a babysitter over and she's gonna be leaving soon. So if you have questions, feel free to ask them to me in, me in the comments and I will look at them later tonight and answer them. So. Have a great day, everybody, and like I said, every Monday you're going to be seeing, hearing a different story from somebody else within our team who is going to share their oily journey, so feel free to keep an eye out for Monday's um, YL story, so I hope you all have a great week. Bye!